Alléluia, oh. Alléluia, eh. Is the sound of victory. Alléluia, eh. Alléluia, oh. Let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Glory to God. Alleluia. Let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Let the sound of rejoicing fill your heart. Let the sound of rejoicing fill your business. Let the sound of rejoicing fill your body. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Alleluia. Amen and amen. It is my pleasure to be here today to deliver to you the word of God. And I'm glad that you're fine. I'm glad that you are here to be blessed by the word of God. As I continue to share the some of the scriptures that I worked with, when I was walking through the valley of the shadow of death, the word of God is powerful. Today, I'm bringing a scripture from Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. I, will re I would like to read um, three translations, and I'm going to bring out how that this word ministered to me, strengthened me, and helped me to respond positively to the word of God. You know, that is what our faith is all about. Your faith is your positive response to the word of God. And that is when you are able to actually receive that which the Lord has already made available. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And your faith is when you positively respond to the word of God. And don't also forget that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That is why you cannot be tired of hearing the word of God. You cannot afford to be tired because <laughs> that's how you get faith, primarily. And if you don't have faith, you cannot please God. In other words, you should change yourself. You can't receive even that which is available. Faith is the currency in this kingdom that we belong to. Hallelujah. So Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, let me take in James Version first. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now, let me take the Passion Translation, Hebrews 4, verse 12. For we have the living word of God, which is full of energy, like a two-mouthed sword. It will even penetrate to the very core of our being, where soul and spirit, bone and marrow meet. It interprets and reveals the true thoughts and secret motives of our hearts. And then I want to take the last one. Uh, we're reading from the Amplified Bible, the classic edition, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word that God speaks is alive and full of power, making it active, operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, soul, and the immortal spirit, and of joints and marrow, of the deepest part of our nature, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart. Such a beautiful scripture, you will agree. Very intriguing too, you know. And while I was walking through the valley of the shadow of death, and let me quickly say this, if you don't have a copy of that book, it's available on Amazon. You can order the soft copy or the hard copy, um, Walking Through the Valley of the Shadow of Death by Sarah Bukola. It's available there on Amazon. 
If you have not read that book, I want to implore you to get it. The Lord instructed me to document it. So I documented it. And it's there to be a blessing. It's there to be a testimonial. It's there to prompt you and then, you know, energize you to act on the word of God that never fails. Glory to God. So yes, back to Hebrews 4.12. The word of God is quick. That means it is alive. It's alive. And it is powerful. So that time, there was a point I, I began to think and i was like okay what exactly is this in my body you know um they had said it's cancer and i had believed god that that report of the lord is the final say and then i began to sit down you know and began to reason with the spirit and then I got to that point where I was like, okay, whatever this thing is, wherever it is lodged in my system. Because after I had the, I had um, the CT scan done, they, was, they still weren't sure. They said they could see fluid, eh, it's around the ovary. Eh, the, they, they didn't know. They weren't sure. So I got back and I was like, okay, okay. Whatever this is, the word of God is able to, to penetrate and this is what i got from there that as i hold on to god's word as i release the word of god by my faith in the word of god that the word enters into wherever the corner of that thing you know in my system that even the city scan cannot see even the mri was still saying that uh you know, it's just fluid. It has, they just were not sure. So, but the word of God is able to penetrate into every fiber of every cell in my body. So I began to visualize the word of God, the word of healing working in my system. And I'll be meditating and I'll be like, the word of God is able to penetrate. Even, you know, the, the, the bone and the marrow, they are so together. But God's word is able to go in between them. And it does not matter how narrow that thing is. It does not matter how woven together that muscle is or that cell or that tissue, you know, the word of God is able to penetrate. And I began to see the word of God, the power of the word of God working in me. Glory to God. I've spent a long time several days just envisioning the word of god working penetrating into every single cell in my stomach and putting things right there glory to god the word of god is quick and powerful the word of god is alive and full of power is active, is operative, is energizing, it's effective, it is sharper than any two edged sword penetrating to the dividing line of the joints and the marrow. So I was saying to the dividing line of every single cell in my body, the word of God is working. Remember that God said he sent his word and he healed us and delivered us from our destructions. So I was literally seeing the word of God working in every cell glory to god glory to god can you see the word of god working on you working on your child working on that relative that is sick as, as you speak the word of god as you release the word of god by faith see the word penetrating into every cell there is nothing hidden there is nowhere that the word of god is not able to penetrate hallelujah I release the word of God by authority right now in the name of Jesus going into your system, into your, your body, your eyes, your reproductive organs, your nervous system, your um, every of the organs in your body in short, every cell in your system, the word of God penetrates straight into it now and put right whatever was wrong. Everything conforms. To God's specification in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Amen and amen. I'll see you again tomorrow. Blessings.